Hey punks! Welcome back to the University of Radlands. We have another Cult of Chrome expansion camp preview to discuss today, number 15, and it's the second replacement camp that Daniel has decided to show off. And of course, I will link Daniel's Board Game Geek post in the description so that way you can read it. Uh, he does go over some of the playtesting for this camp, and that's pretty interesting. So let's take a look. Uh, Daniel decided to preview the new canon today. So here's the previous canon, you know, one starting card at the beginning of the game. And then for one water, you damage this card and then deal a damage. So to use this, you'd pay your one water. It would damage. You could then deal a cheap source of damage. You know, one water for one damage is really good. You could try to then restore it so you could keep dealing the damage. Or if you saw so fit and were really needing to deal a last minute damage, you could spend one damage cannon again and deal one final damage to whatever you wanted to target. So at minimum, you could get two uses out of this card before it destroys itself. Or if you're able to continue to restore it, you could get more uses that way. Uh, the new cannon, you get two starting cards to begin the game. I like that. Uh, more cards at the beginning is always really good. It has a trait. This card starts the game damaged. So if you pick cannon and uh, when you reveal it, it will not be upright. It will start the game damaged. So you're already, uh, if you think of it as you have six points or six health, I guess. You're already down one health to start the game. But the ability for two water, if this card is undamaged, you deal a damage. So if at some point during the game you're able to stand your new cannon back up, you now have uh, the access to this ability all the time as long as you can keep the camp upright. Yes, it's the standard two cost for a damage instead of the cheaper one cost, but not having to restore it as often to be able to use it is kind of the push and pull that had to be done. You know, for to get two starting cards, there has to be some stuff that gives. So the new cannon is almost like if Obelisk and Railgun from the base game, you know, had had a baby. You get the two water to deal a damage, and the card starts damaged. So about halfway, you know, to an Obelisk, which would start destroyed, and you get two cards instead of three. So kind of a mishmash of Obelisk and Railgun. So a fun one. So some synergies you might be looking for when picking a uh, cannon. Again, like we said, it starts the game in a damaged state. So if your starting cards have any kind of, you know, restore, that would prob probably be a really good synergy. And I tend to try to look for restores anyway, just because you are limited on the amount of restores that you have in the punk deck. So if you can have a camp with the restore, that's very advantageous. So in the base game, you have Outpost, Labor Camp, Bonfire, and Transplant Lab. Uh, that one would be really juicy because it has two starting cards as well. Uh, Labor Camp, a really cheap source of restore. As long as you have people, you can sacrifice to it. Uh, and then, you know, Outpost and Bonfire. Uh, Daniel also went over Memorial a few days ago. So again, if you're able to destroy or damage one of your own cards, another cheap restore that you could use for cannon. But as I mentioned, the chances of getting some sort of restore in the camp deck is, is pretty slim. So where are areas that you could find that in the punk draw deck? Uh, you always have the junk effects. Uh, you have two people and then two events two copies of each, so eight total restore junks in the deck that you could try to dig for and find to move your cannon upright if you wanted to. So those are options. Another option, uh, you know, two repair bots in the deck. When the repair bot 
comes into play, you can restore something. You could choose cannon for that. And then if you can keep repair bot upright himself to water for a restore, and you could keep restoring your cannon if you wanted the damage for it. And then scientist is kind of the last way you might be able to find those restores in the punk deck. You know, he discards three from the top and you can use the junk ability of one of those discarded cards. If one of those happened to be one of these restores, you could bring the cannon back. So I think overall it's a it's a more interesting version of cannon because at the beginning of the game you can say, you know, depending on what other camps you have or how early you draw a restore, you might decide to to leave it damaged and and maybe exposed and it's just something that your opponent can take out early if you don't need the damage and you just wanted it for the card draw. Uh, if you can get it standing and protected, then you have access to a damage all the time. So yeah, this is a fun one. Uh, Daniel does mention in that um, preview for Canon, you know that, you know, there's the two cost cards or the two uh, draw at the beginning of the game camps need to be a little bit uh, weaker than your other camps uh, that justifies you getting two cards at the beginning so the fact that this comes out damaged you have to spend a restore of some sort so water or junking to bring it back you can either take you know one of those cards away if you so choose uh, but there's a little more uh, I think a little more strategy involved and so this was a fun one to play with as Daniel mentioned in the in the article we uh, kind of were tweaking this to how he wanted it in the play testing after the initial play testing so this one was a lot of fun to get working you know he, he wanted to use traits more in the camp so we've, we've thrown that in there we needed something to deal damage we needed something to draw two cards and everything just kind of fit together really well so punks uh, what do you think of this new version of canon uh, do you think it kind of fits the bill uh, do you like the story that it's going to tell overall uh, do you think the old one was a little better you know you did get a cheaper source of damage but you might have had to restore it more often to keep using it again some push and pull uh, let me know what you think what what combos uh, do you see with this or what, what makes you really excited about this camp and as always stay thirsty punks <laughs>